Hi, this is Michael Cohn of Advanced Tubular Technologies. I'm going to give you a demonstration of VTube Laser Software. And VTube Laser Software is software that integrates with the Ferro Tube Measuring Center. I have a 7-axis over here, a 7-axis articulated arm with a laser line probe on the end and also a 6-millimeter ball. We're going to be measuring this, uh, this part. It's uh, 0.820 diameter, and uh, it represents a uh, facsimile of, of a walking cane that uh, had been distributed by, by one of my partners at uh, the Fabtech show. So we're just going to go ahead and measure this just to show you how quickly we can reverse engineer this part. We're in VTube step mode, which means the mode that can import uh, solid model files from any solid modeling program in order to establish master data. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to actually establish master data by measuring this part. So now we're in VTube Laser. And I'm going to give this uh, part a name. I'm going to call it Kane. And I'm going to say test. And I'm going to say the default radius is going to be 1.5. And now I'm going to change over to measure setup. And I'm going to indicate the number of straights. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 straights. Now I'm going to move down here and indicate that we want to use the laser at the ends by default and also inside the straights. When we're measuring uh, using the laser line probe and a ball probe, you can switch between the two anytime you want. We're going to see a toggle laser button like this inside the control window that allows us to switch between the modes anytime we want. So if it's more convenient to use a ball probe at the end, you can, you can switch and use that in real time while you're actually performing a measure. Once you start a measure with a certain probe, you have to finish the measure with that probe, but you can always switch when you move on to the next straight, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Measure Process here in the Navigation window and click on Measure Tube. And this is the Measure Tube window and it's asking me to measure end A. So let me just move this over a bit. And we're going to go ahead and grab that arm and perform a measure on the end. I'm going to start at this end. And when we collect data, on and all we're trying to do is collect data. We're not looking for a cylinder or, or any particular shape. We just want to, the laser line probe to fall off the end of the tube. So that's all I'm doing right here. I'm just um, going to press and release the button and I just collected points. You can see them on the screen and uh, you can even see where the points fall off the end of the tube and that's what is going to be used to uh, perform an extension to the end point. I'm going to go ahead and collect points here and here and these are going to be um, the way I have it set up right now by default is two strings here and two strings here. And I'll take that data and I'll put it in a nonlinear regression math engine and actually calculate the center line. So you might see me moving the um, probe from time to time, and that's because I want to spread the points out. You don't have to, but I like to do that in order to get a little better uh, average. So I'm going to push the button, and there's a lower pitch when we're finished. You can move either direction, and you can see now that I've spread points out right here you can see some points for the one side and you can see that we've already projected the endpoint here. So now it's asking for straight two, measure one of two, so I'm going to move up here and I'm going to do the same thing and here we go. And on to the next straight. Next. And as we measure this part it's going to build up on the screen and it's also going to show you the intersection points that it calculates in real time. I want to turn this just slightly to get the beam to drop off the end of the tube. And at this point I'm going to hit the red button in the center of the mouse and I'm going to calculate the measured tube data only. And there we have it. Now this data on the screen up here is, let me just minimize this, this data is the measured tube data. And the measured tube data is not yet the master, so what we're going to do is we're going to tell the V2 laser that from now on this is going to be the master tube. So I'm going to copy measure to master. So now I'm in the master tube data pane or menu, and now this has become the master data. So in this case, the measured uh, and the master data are identical, which means if we go into inspection results and perform a, an alignment, we're not going to see any error. We should see no error at all, all zeros everywhere you look. And you can see we have our tolerance set to 39,000 here, etc. So if I remeasure the part, we should then get some inherent, um, you know, slight error 
Uh, so let's go back into measure process and do that again. There we go. This is how you would actually check apart to see if it matches the master data. So we'll measure the two. And let me get the uh, video uh, webcam viewport back up. Send of the mouse, and we're going to calculate new measure, and we're going to create best fit alignment. Here we go. And there we go. As we expected, there is some error. I'm going to minimize this again, but not much. You can see that we have very little error in here, simply because I measure the same tube in the same location uh, and use that tube to create the master data. But over here on the screen, you can see that we have a pink tube on top of a green tube. The pink tube represents the best fit model, the aligned model. I actually took the master data and aligned it on top of the, the green tube, which is the master. So if we were to turn the measure down here, you'd see a blue tube in here as well, simply because we haven't moved the part. But we at this point have master tube data, and we have created a reverse engineered part that's ready to be used for inspection of parts in the future. So you'd say save the project and uh, use a name for this part that you'll be able to recall later on in order to perform correction against a, a part that comes off of the vendor. 